Hello, hello, hello. My name is Hector. Welcome back to Astro Block. And we're not very Astro anymore. We are we are completely Terra Block now. We are we've confirmed back to being on on Terra Firma. Look at this. We are in the overworld. How is everyone doing? I hope you're all doing well. And um, I've just found myself a little lost city. I'm not far from where we sort of crash landed. Not really crash landed, but that was just over there. And I don't think I've ever seen... Now, there was just something quite scary in here. I don't know if it's still... Ooh, an enchanting table. That's quite exciting. But if you go in here, like... Oh, I've already been in here. So, it, there was... There was... There's, like, Robocop in here. Oh, he's gone away. He's gone away. Let's nick. <laughs> Let's nick. That. Oh, uh, uh, whoa. I don't know what that is. That is... What is that? What on earth was that? Like, what are you? A mutant scientist. Okay, let's close the door. Let's not go back in there. So Lost Cities, um, obviously haunted. Uh, very, very haunted. So I don't know if they're worth having anything around. Um, I've sort of been looking around, but uh, honestly, not too much. Now, I've got in my iron backpack, I've got a few things. I've got more fuel. I brought a charge pad. Don't worry, I got that. And now, I didn't. What I didn't bring is any kind of generator or anything like that. Um, so, we're probably going to have to make another, like, coal generator or something like it, uh, which I think is fine. I don't think will be that hard. I've already, like... There's loads of copper and tin everywhere, and there's loads, like absolutely loads of ores everywhere. Like if we look around, um, there's a lot of surface ore, which is rather nice. Colt stone as well, mine's extrapolation. There's a lot of stuff from mine's extrapolation, uh, which is an interesting one. But you can see, like, look at the amount of just ore just hanging around. So I don't think we have to worry for coal. Um, so I wasn't too worried about that. I thought that would be the case. Um, but if we look, if we look in our little quests, um, I don't really know what, like, we're meant to do here, whether we're meant to set up a proper base here or whether we should just go back, you know, once we've got all the stuff to the space station and then set off from there again. I don't know, because obviously from here, we sort of don't have to worry about the radiation, which is uh, rather nice. And I think get getting uh, resources will be probably easier in the long run. So I don't know. I don't know. But uh, quest wise, we've got a lot of ore to get. And it's interesting because I've already got like a lot of copper and tin ore. Uh, as you can see here, but I'm guessing because this is my extrapolation, it doesn't count. Doesn't count, which is a bit of a shame. So I'm going to have to go digging, uh, a little bit of digging, and I wonder whether we can make, um, whether we can make, like, I didn't really need it, a flux ball, that's what it was. Let's have a look what the flux ball requires. Flux ball, um, drill head, so a lot of that tool casing, that's not too bad, and iron gear. So this is possible. Uh, I would need to make another, a another what's it called, a coal generator and a compressor, I think, which I think I'll probably end up doing anyway. So I think that is, that is potentially quite doable, and I've still got my little, my little spacesuit on, but I think we need to basically, we need to dig down, and, you know, we're, we're quite high up, Y84, so we need to go down into the earth and get ourselves some more stuff basically i think i think is the it is it's, i don't yeah i don't really want to i don't know lost city seems a bit a bit a bit too dangerous for us right now perhaps uh, which is fine you know i don't mind being a coward for a little bit until until we get more of a handle on everything but i don't know if there's like a better a better place it's really weird just being like almost in a standard minecraft mod pack now um i'm sort of not not ready for it almost. It came rather fast. There's obviously a lot more planets to go and have a look at, so I'm okay with that. Look at the amount of coal. Yeah, we're gonna be fine. So I I suppose what I should do is maybe I mean this is all Yeah, there's nothing else here. There's this random stuff as well. I'm just wandering around pointing at things now. Sunstone deposit. I don't know what we do with that, but it looks quite cool. That's quite cool. I did get some. Uh, and you can't do that much with it. But there you go. Anyway, I will set up some kind of shop and I will start digging down and just getting a compressor and a coal generator set up. And then, uh, and then, yeah, I suppose we can, I need to, I need to, get, let's get some coal. Let's get some coal and I'll be right back. Okay, so I am in a 
kind of mine, I suppose, and getting some stuff. It's really weird seeing, like, non-cobble. Uh, it's so odd seeing it, but we've got all of this stuff. But I think, I'm presuming, that none of this is going to count, but I think this should. Because can you see that all of these things are the mine extrapolation ore? Um, oh, hey, hurt. Oh, oh. Uh, so we're getting all of that and the gold and whatnot. So I think if we look uh, at the quests, there are we? There we go. So it hasn't it hasn't done that. So I probably need to move. But I think this should tritanium ore. We do need to get some of the. Oh hey hey whoa, hey that is what? That's not at all what I wanted. Okay, that's a bit weird. I'm guessing that's just oil, but it doesn't seem to be hurting me or anything. There we go. Uh, let's put you back now. There we go. There we go. So I think I think that did it, did it? Yes, tritanium ore has been done, but I need a lot more. I've never heard of those things, and then fairly standard ones here. So a little bit annoying that we basically have to find like um, this dilithium, which is exciting as as an ardent Star Trek fan. Seeing dilithium is uh, fairly exciting. Oh, we've got some normal osmium ore. Okay. There we go, got that. Excellent. Um, sapphire, I don't think we need that. I'm basically just, you know, I'm going I'm going a bit happy because it's that thing, you know, when you're in a mod pack and you don't know what you're doing, you just sort of grab everything. When you first start playing modded, it's a bit like that, you know, you just grab anything and everything. Is that is that not a... I don't know, it isn't. I thought that was a, uh, a skeleton then, but what is it? A stalactite. Think so. There we go. Uh, more ore of all of this stuff, but sadly, all deep cold stone, which is not very useful to me. Um, more of that stuff. Iron. What is that? Moss lump. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, this is a lot of stuff here, and sadly, most of it I really can't use. At least not for the quests. There we go. Um, but yeah, this is. I mean, this is a lot easier than um. A lot easier than asteroid mining uh, so far, I've got to say, and I need to find my way back now. <laughs> I think it's just here. Yeah, it is just here. Okay, so I don't know if we should just move, basically, and find a different place that doesn't have all of the sculpt stone to get the stuff that we need. That might be the best thing to do. Right then, I spent a fair amount of time mining around and actually I ended up not even uh, mining anymore. I was kind of in that direction over there. There's uh, like a huge mineshaft uh, system. Now, I still haven't been able uh, to find, where are we, uh, to find gold and redstone that is just like the normal Minecraft ore. Uh, and I've, what I've discovered is that Torite, uh, you can see here, is only can be found in jungles. And then, what is it, Arcanite? Arca? Uh, yeah, so all of this, does that say? Oh, that doesn't say. Okay. Uh, I wasn't sure, but that sort of changes stuff, and I'm, I'm sort of thinking maybe we don't really need to do this, because you can see it's like, they're offshoot ones, and I think, the, like, all of this stuff is random. Um, so I don't, oh, these are, ki ah, I know what these are, these are killing things, aren't they? I've just realised, I've just realised, there you go, because we, we, we saw that mutant scientist there. Okay, so this is the next thing that we actually need to do and we have to do it by the looks of it inside the chest uh, found in the building some of them might have a moon research paper that will give you access to go to the moon so it does look like we will have to go in there so i suppose that's what i'm what i'm going to be doing i've got myself a little coal generator hooked up to a charge pad now and made another compressor and i don't think i really need it to but there you go. Uh, I found another like magnet as well, and I also got another pet, uh, a house pet, teleport home, which is pretty good. That's pretty cool. Uh, favorite food, ender nugget, which I presume, ender no, nugget, I presume, yeah, is just yeah, uh, bits of an ender pearl. So that is actually quite good. At least it's good in the overworld. But it looks like we need to do, we need to find moon research. Uh, that is the next step, I suppose. So I'm going to have to look through these, and I'm a little bit scared to do so, but uh, apparently that is such is life. Okay, so going through these lost cities is fairly 
fairly dangerous. I'm at a different one now. You can see these guys are taking on a mutant scientist. Oh, and one of them has died. Um, but basically, uh, you can sort of let these guys fight out for a little bit, and then... Oh, and they've... <laughs> they've both... Let's see if we can... There we go. What what you can do, I mean, they're not very smart, these guys. So look look at how many hit points they have. So I've already killed, like, one or two of these. Um, yeah, there you go. There you go. Come on. Thankfully, they're not smart, so we can outsmart them, uh, which is nice. And obviously, I still have a jetpack, um, but just before I was attacked, I did make a discovery. Now, this is not the same lost city uh, that we were next to. This is another one that I actually found earlier. Um, I couldn't find anything in the first lost city. Uh, come on. There we go. Oh, wow, it's like three at a time. This is also, by the looks of it, some kind of dungeon. I'm, I, so I know some of these lost cities can have... Oh, there we go. Uh, can have spawners in them, and I think that one actually does, because I can see a fair few zombies in there. Uh, right, let's have a look-see then. This might be a bit... There we go. Right, so... So, uh, do I have any blocks on me? Oh, I don't. Uh, that is a little bit dangerous. But in here... So, <laughs> I came in here, and look at that! Research paper, moon. There we go. There we go. So we've got that, and there's another. Like, there's another cop guy there. So let's just get out of here whilst we can. Um, hopefully, <laughs> there we go. Are you gonna come? You're not gonna come. Looks like we're okay. Um, okay. So, phew. Uh, I'm gonna go back to my hovel, which is uh, that way. I think over there. Oh, there it is. There it is. And I will see you back at back at base. Well, back at hovel base, where we'll sort of see what I need to do uh, with this research paper using telescope to discover. Okay. Right then, I've been making some stuff, and I should. Oh no, that's too much. There we go. So I've got some compressed aluminium. Um, just smelted some tin as well, as we'll need that. If we look here, uh, inside the chest, so. We should be able to get that, and that somehow does that. So it's a bit weird. I don't understand <laughs> why that works that way. So, yeah, that, and then the space warper allows you to travel to other planets. You first need to get a set a destination with a space warper core by right-clicking it while you are standing at the location you want to be teleported. Huh? Did okay, I don't understand that. Warning space warper cores can only be used once. You can find more uh, inside loot chests and buildings on Earth. Okay, rare reward would have got enchanting book. Okay, what is that when it's at home? An enchanting book, okay. Uh, it says enchanting power one. Don't know what that is, but we've got ourselves this. There you go, can be used once. Um, space dimension data added. Okay, so I'm guessing that would transport us here maybe? I don't know. Space warp pad allows you to travel in the space dimension when placed in a three. But I have no idea. I have no idea. But we have got that now. Uh, we need to make a telescope. It seems used to discover space objects from research papers. So that's what we're up to now. And uh, let's get this. And then, uh, oh, and I took my crafting table. I totes did. There we go. Uh, a little bit expensive, so glass panes, that ain't too bad. And then two diamond blocks, which is a little bit bad. But we've got a fair amount of diamonds, thankfully. There we go. Bam. And I don't... <laughs> Look at that. Um, I don't... It's weird. I would have thought that that would be a quest, but apparently not. Then we can also get a dungeon locator. I don't know how hard that is to... Oh, can be found in... Oh, creative... Okay, what? Well, hang on. Is this one a thing that can only be found then, by the looks of it? I'm guessing it says. It sort of seems to say, doesn't it? E creative only. Okay, well, we won't worry about that. Let's... I don't know how this works. Plonk that down. Um, oh, it, ooh, it needs power. It needs power. Okay. How, what a weird thing to need power, but okay, yes, fine. Uh, we can do that. Can I put it there? Uh, have I got... Yes. Yes, I do. And... <laughs> I don't... How... How is this... How is this powered? <laughs> I 
have no idea how this is powered. What? Okay, I'm guessing we... No? Do we put that there? Yes. We do put that there. What? That doesn't do anything. Disable, enable, progress. Ah. Do we need to... Is that the only way to do it? A battery slot from planet progression. Let's have a look then. Battery. Uh, that's one thing. That is extra planets. Galacticraft. Ooh, that is... That should be fairly simple. That should be fairly simple. And we get three of them. Uh, so tin, a bit of iron and coal. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try and do that because it looks like I need to do that. And there is extra planets. I should, I suppose, have a look if there's an extra planets one. But the, that's Tesla. Galactic. Oh, yeah, that is Galacticraft. So you'd think, you would think. I'd be okay with one of these. So I'm going to try and do that. Right, I've got the necessaries. So if I did that, and uh, let's take that away and that away. And I think all of this is basically already all pretty much full. That isn't. Uh, my jetpack isn't. I did use it briefly. That is doing that. There we go. Boom. Thank you very much. Right, can I shove this in here? Please tell me I can. Yes, I can. All right, you. Oh wait, do do I have? Oh, uh. what is? I don't understand. What is being used? <laughs> right. Oh, oh, oh! I've just noticed what that does. Oh, look at that. Uh. Okay. So, right. Let's just generate that a little bit. do that there we go so okay so does that mean this if I disable that that is charging that right let's try this again uh, and I don't really understand at all how this works I might have to that seems to go very fast like hugely fast so if I do that why is it going down again I don't understand how the telescope works. Okay, so I'm, I've... Oh, there we go. Oh, that did a thing. I've got, completed the moon. Okay, so I just had to... I mean, it does take a fair bit... Well, not really a fair bit of energy, but it, you have to... It was disabled or enabled. I don't understand. Uh, but we've, we've, we've got the moon. So I don't... <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, I presume... I presume now we could literally go to the moon if we blasted off in space. I wish there was like a space screen, you know, where I could see what planets... Uh, maybe there is. Um, but that that is a thing. That that did work. I just thought I'd sort of show you how I did that um, very quickly. Um, I just literally pressed the disable enable button and it started working again. Uh, so, so I suppose we could go... And um, I keep getting got loads of these pre-launch checklists now and I think one of them is for the moon oh yeah there you go so a, a, a oxygen suit and any tier of spacesuit and that will allow us to go to the moon which is rather exciting now I feel I don't know I feel that maybe we probably shouldn't go to the moon uh, in this episode I feel like that might have to be maybe next episode and I, I kind of feel like this might be the end of the episode we haven't, like, done too much, but we have discovered the moon. So I think in terms of, you know, getting stuff done, that's pretty good. And I still don't know. <laughs> I still don't know what that is about. I've forgotten about it. Um, so, yeah, we've got the moon. Next step, we're going we're gonna to be Neil Armstrong, I think. We'll Neil Armstrong it next episode. I'm happy with that. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, thanks for the continuing comments. If you did like the video, more comments, more liking and subscribing if you fancy it. You don't have to. Up to you. I've been Hector. This has been Terrorblock, as I'm now dubbing it. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.